So you're on your pre-med journey. What the heck do you study? What's up guys, I'm Dr. Ryan Gray, former Air Force flight surgeon, and now host of this YouTube channel, the Medical School Headquarters YouTube channel, and host of the Pre-Med Years podcast, as well as many more. Now, I started this journey in 2012 to help you on your journey to medical school, whether it's through interview tips, MCAT tips, and much more. I hope you go on this journey with me, so subscribe to this channel, hit that bell notification to be notified of new videos every week. So this week, I wanted to tackle a very common question that pre-med students have. What prereqs do I need to take? What classes do I need to take to get into medical school? Now, one of the most infuriating parts of being in this process and advising students is that the answer is almost always, it depends. What school do you want to go to? Go to their website and look at what they require. If you can't take a class, maybe you can call them and say, hey, I can't take this class. Can I take this other class? Let me know. A lot of schools are flexible. But this whole process with what classes you have to take to get into medical school is challenging to figure out because every school may be a little different. Historically, the rule of thumb has been two years of biology, two years of chemistry, a semester of organic chemistry, a semester of biochemistry, and physics, a year of physics. Some schools have English as a requirement. With the changes to the new MCAT, some schools are adding psychology or sociology to their prereqs as well. But to make sure that you are applying to schools and you meet the requirements to all those schools, go and check out each school's website to see what they require. Now, something that is becoming more and more common as well are schools that are removing all of their required courses. Now, a lot of these schools just wanna make sure that you are enjoying and following your passions. They still obviously wanna make sure that you're taking the MCAT and doing well on that, which means you probably need to take those traditional prereqs anyway. But it makes it seem like they're a little bit more carefree than some other schools. A very common question is, can I take online courses? And the general rule of thumb and the general advice is to avoid online courses as much as possible, especially with your prereqs. Online labs especially are typically a big no-no. Again, every school is going to be a little bit different, so check in with the schools. You may be a military spouse and need to travel around and not have access to the courses that you need. You may have specific situations where you are not going to be able to take a course in person. Call the schools that you are interested in going to, talk to them about your situation, and see if they will accommodate you. One very common exception with online courses is biochemistry. It seems like a lot of schools don't offer biochemistry, at least up to the level that you need for medical school. And so there are some schools, a lot of schools that will accept online biochemistry as the only online prereq that they will accept. Another question that comes up all the time with prereqs is using AP credits for those prereqs. You can use AP credits for your lower level biology and chemistry and physics, if there is an AP physics, I don't even know, but maybe you can. Uh, as long as you're showing that you are taking upper division courses in biology and chemistry as well. As you are planning out your three or four years of university, make sure that you are talking with your advisors, planning out what specifically you need for your major at your university, as well as what you think you'll need for the MCAT and what you'll need for medical school. This is the challenging part of being pre-med, trying to navigate this process for your major, for the MCAT, and for medical school, all while graduating in time and making sure that you're doing everything else that is required as a pre-med student. So make sure that you're checking in early and often with your pre-med advisor. Remember, it's okay if you need to take a gap year. So as you are mapping out your plan and you think that you're going to need some extra time to fit in some prereqs before you take the MCAT, that's okay to delay the MCAT. You don't have to fit it in into a traditional timetable to get in to medical school. Can you take your prereqs at community college? Is another very common question that I get. Yes, you can. 
If you need to, take your prereqs at community college. It is okay. The medical schools may question it. They may ask you why you took them at a community college. Maybe you're a non-traditional student, you're a parent, you're working full-time, and community college is the only place where you could fit in your prereqs. That's okay. It may hurt you at one school or two schools, but it won't keep you out of medical school. So hopefully after watching this video, you'll have some knowledge and some information on how to navigate this process in terms of classes to take, not only for getting into medical school, but also for the MCAT and for your major. If you liked this video, give it a like, a little thumbs up, and leave a comment and let other students know what you've had to do to navigate this process in terms of classes that you've taken.